Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I stopped in Walmart the other day. I was looking for one lotion in particular and to my surprise they had so much new like body care in stores. So of course I had to share with you guys. So I'm going to do a quick little kind of like shop with me and then I'm going to do the haul at the end. I've had these things for about a week now so I do have like my first impressions. But yeah, I can't believe how much good new stuff is at Walmart right now. So let's go ahead and get into the shop with me portion. So so Walmart has a bunch more new hygiene stuff that I wasn't able to share in my last video that they just put out. I'm super excited. Let's start out with Jergens. They have a couple new lotions. When I first saw this, I almost thought it was like a hair conditioner, but this is their deep conditioning shea and cocoa butter. It's a whipped butter blend, oil infused. It sounds amazing. I definitely want to try this one. It's $6.47. And then they added another one to their skin smoothie line. This one smells so good, tropical. And now they have a blissful berry that is new. It smells pretty good as well. And these are $6.47. We also have this whole new Scent Theory collection, which I think is basically dupes of Bath & Body Works. But I saw this on their Instagram. I didn't know they'd be in stores so quick. But yeah, it totally reminds me of Bath & Body. We have the Wild Black Cherry Body Cream. Even the packaging is like identical. These are only $5 though. But we know we can get Bath & Body Works at a good sale pretty often. Cherry Blush Bouquet, maybe a Japanese Cherry Blossom dupe. We have Dazzling Lights. This one reminds me of Into the Night. This is Light Up the Sky. The notes are Night Blooming Jasmine, Yuzu Zest, and Mysterious Musk. And then this maybe is a dupe for Winter Candy Apple. This is Iced Ruby Apple which has notes of juicy red apples, white musk, and sugared orange peel. So I thought that was so interesting. I'm really curious to see how the formula is. It looks like there's one more here called Shooting Star, which I think is gonna be similar to In the Stars. So lots of similar vibes going on. I'm gonna pick up one. I'm gonna try out the formula and stuff. These have shea butter, coconut oil. I wanna see what scent I like the best. Next up we have the new EOS, which I've been dying to try. I love this lotion formula. Their vanilla one is the best, but they just released the Fresh and Cozy. This has amazing hydration. I really love the formulas here. I'm so curious about trying this one. It's Morning Light Dewy Cassis in Sheer Musk here. It's $7.97 for this one. I'm definitely gonna pick this up and try it out. And then these are also new here, but they've been out. The Method Body has lotions for $8.98. They have this one in the shower gel. It's super popular. The coconut rice milk in shea butter. It's an amazing warm and cozy scent. And then they have this one, which is peony rose water and pink sea salt. And then this is also new, hiding behind these razors. The Jergens Pure Hydration. Um, this is just, I think, no scent on this. It says no parabens, dyes, or artificial fragrances. So just a basic moisturizer. It looks more like lightweight. This is $7.47. They do have some holiday hemp here. Their stuff is really expensive, I feel like. Uh, $19.48, but they do have the Peppermint Vanilla Swirl, which is their holiday one. And they do have the Pumpkin Spice and Vanilla Chai for fall, the limited edition. They have some new Bliss Body Care, and I think these are somewhat newer scents, but I'm not sure. Their Cloud Nine line, I think they might be sending these over, but they have the Cloud Nine Body Lotion. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a new product from them, but it has almond milk and vanilla, which sounds so good to me for $8.97. We also have the Pink Blossom and Water Lily lemon and sage so definitely the vanilla almond is up my alley you guys already know now they have these as well the skin smoothing body butter with ahas and squalene in the formula these are $12.97 so this one's a little bit more it's for texture and it looks like they have another cream coming out that is not here quite yet but that one's going to be almost 20. some more body care over here some more high end this is the beauty space in k section of walmart where they have some higher end brands it's not at all Walmarts, but a lot of the bigger city ones, you'll find this. Like they have By Terry, Philippi, all these awesome things, which I filmed this a few months ago. I'll link that video down below if you want to see the makeup. But I saw they had some new body care over here. I mean, it's not like super high end. It's $9, so not too bad. They have these hand wash and hand lotions from the actual Beauty Space NK line. Uh, we got vanilla and coconut hand wash and lotion. It says apricot, plum, vanilla, and coconut. There is the lime and mandarin, which has bergamot, citronella, cedarwood, and patchouli. 
jasmine and rose down here which is coconut peach rose jasmine and sweet vanilla and a sea salt and water lily which is the sea salt water lily and musk and then they even have this body duo here with just the sea salt and water lily for 15 so not too bad this one actually has a body wash so i guess some have body washes some have hand washes i wish that this one had a body wash but i might actually pick up this guy maybe i'll do the duo and see if I like it because it's a little bit cheaper. These soaps also look really nice from this brand Nudie Rudy, which is totally new to me, but I'm very curious. They have them for $5, these little bar soaps. So they have the sea salt suds with salt extract and shea butter. It's a plant oil soap made in Australia. They have wasabi pear. There's the honey bunny, which sounds really good. The milk bar yum. Killa vanilla and berry delicious. I'm so curious about these. May have to try a couple. I shared some Halloween stuff, uh, like for soaps, in my last video, but there's a couple new ones from Scent Theory as well, which is the same as the Body Care line. And I remember checking these soaps out in the summer, and they definitely looked like Bath and Body Works too. So they have their Wicked Apple Foaming Hand Soap. These are only $2.84. We have a Sweet Skulls, which has crushed candy corn, ghostly marshmallows, and maple skulls, yum. We have the Monster Mash. This one has a cypress, lavender fig, and then haunting cedarwood. Just a fall one, this is pumpkin treats from them which is pumpkin puree, creamy vanilla, and clove spice. These all sound really, really nice and super affordable too. They also have the brand new Tree Hut Velvet Coffee, finally at Walmart. We found this at Ulta a while ago, but I wanted to let you know it is here too. Now, to be quite honest, I don't love this one. I feel like it has a very chemical smell to it. It's not my favorite coffee, but some people do like it. It is here for about eight bucks. And then I already mentioned it in my last video, but I'll mention it here again. Body Ecology has the new chilled bubbly sent out which is basically a dupe for champagne toast from Bath and Body Works uh, in the cream and in the fragrance mist. A lot of people do love these. They're only $3.97 and they do have the cozy fireside s'more which is a seasonal one that they come out with every fall. This is a dupe of Bonfire Bash from Bath and Body Works. And the sweet apple cider is also one of their seasonal ones for fall as well. Definitely was not expecting to film another Walmart shop with me but the hygiene finds today are insane so we got a lot of stuff I can't believe how much stuff Walmart had. I was so excited to try everything out. Let me share with you what I picked up. So first off, I was so excited to see these Scent Theory body creams there. And I saw like a sneak peek that they were releasing body creams. I did not expect to find them so soon in Walmart stores. They were in Walmart stores prior with just their hand soaps. They do still have quite a few new hand soaps coming in. But the thing with this brand is they do remind me so much of Bath & Body Works just like their whole packaging layout even their soaps remind me of them too so I picked up almost the full set and I just wanted to go ahead and try them out they were pretty affordable so this first one is cherry blush bouquet and I'm assuming this one is supposed to be kind of like Japanese cherry blossom that does have the notes on the back it says cherry blossoms English jasmine and rose macarons which I was really intrigued by that rose macaron no because I don't know I just thought it may would maybe would be a little bit sweeter than cherry blossom but it does smell a lot like Japanese cherry blossom it just kind of crazy the consistency of these is really nice too they almost feel like water going on they're not super super thick and they're not super thin either they're really nice in between and your skin is left just feeling really drenched with hydration so they have a really nice consistency I do wish though that their scents were a little bit more long-lasting so maybe that is something that they could improve on because I do feel like the scent fades pretty quickly but I'm not expecting the world out of like a really inexpensive lotion but I mean you can smell it pretty well up front but I just noticed after a couple hours it kind of fades away but I do really like the consistency so that one definitely reminds me of Japanese cherry blossom. It's not like a gourmand scent or a dessert scent in the slightest. It's like a powdery kind of floral. The next one I picked up is Dazzling Lights, which has really fun packaging. I didn't know what this one would be a dupe for. It has notes of sparkling citrus, raspberry puree, and sweet vanilla. So maybe it's not really, the packaging didn't really look like anything, but 
The scent itself is like so fruity. This is almost giving off champagne toast vibes. I really like this one though. It's one of my favorite ones. I feel like it's even more powerful than the Cherry Blush Bouquet. But if you want something really yummy and fruity, definitely check out the Dazzling Lights. Next we have Iced Ruby Apple. And I really thought that this was going to be more like Winter Candy Apple, but it's actually pretty different. This has notes of juicy red apples, white musk, and sugared orange peel. Um, this is more of a true apple scent. And I actually do really like this one a lot. True apple scent. There's no spices or cinnamon or anything like that going on here. So it's definitely not a winter candy apple dupe. But it is a really nice just true apple lotion. Okay, and then this one is the Wild Black Cherry. And this one does remind me of Black Cherry Merlot. I love the packaging on this one as well. It's um, Wild Black Cherry Honey Apricot and Sugar Cane. And yeah, it literally smells like Black Cherry Merlot. Which I feel like they haven't released that one in a bit. So if you've been looking for it. Maybe check this one out instead. It's a, such a good like almost cherry fruit punch kind of scent. This one's really powerful as well. It almost smells like cherry licorice. This is probably uh, probably my favorite one. I really like the fruity ones in this collection. And then there is one more which is Light Up the Sky, and this one reminded me, at least the packaging kind of looked like Into the Night. It has Night Blooming Jasmine, Yuzu Zest, and then Mysterious Musk. This one does have the same vibes as Into the Night. Into the Night is definitely a lot stronger, though, and this one gives off kind of more of a powdery. I'm getting more musk in this, um, where Into the Night has a little bit more sweetness to kind of tone it down a little bit, but it's still, it's a pretty good dupe, I would say. So yeah, those are the ones I picked up. There's also like a shooting star or something, which I feel like is going to be similar to In the Stars. I did not have that at my store, but I did pick up most of the collection. So with this, they only come in body creams. There is no sprays or anything like that. But yeah, I think these are kind of fun, worth picking up. Now I am really excited because when I was at the store posting on my stories, the brand Scent Theory actually reached out to me and asked if I wanted to do a giveaway. So of course, I wanted to go ahead and do that so one of you guys can actually win the full set of body creams. If you guys do want to enter that giveaway to win the full scent of the body creams, definitely follow me on Instagram at Leah Janae and also follow my scent theory, which is their Instagram. And I will have that also linked down below so you can go straight to it. And please leave a comment on this video so that I know you're interested that which of the body cream scents is the one that you're kind of most wanting to try. So thank you so much to them for letting me do a giveaway. I thought that was so much fun. But yeah, you can find these new lotions at most local Walmarts. You can always check on the Walmart website. You can search these and see if they are in stock at your local store or find one close to you that has them. So this lotion is what I was going in for. I am obsessed with the EOS lotion, the Vanilla Cashmere. It's so good, and I saw they came out with a new scent that was in stores, and it is fresh and cozy, which just sounds so good. So I didn't really know what to expect with this. I thought it might be more gourmand scented or just like dessert smelling, but it's definitely a fresh scent, but I mean, it kind of has a cozy vibe at the same time. It has morning light, dewy castus, and sheer musk as the notes. I seem to love anything with musk these days, but... This is such a nice kind of lotion to pair with pretty much any scent in your collection, especially kind of my more fresh and fruity scents and use this as a base, but this is one of my favorite formulas of lotion at the drugstore or at Walmart. It's so good, so moisturizing, it is thicker, but oh my gosh, I really do like this new scent. It's so good, but if you haven't yet tried the Vanilla Cashmere, definitely check that out too. And then I also picked up this Jergens one. I just couldn't resist. I said this in the store, but it almost looked like a hair product to me. I wasn't expecting this to be a lotion since some of the other Jergens lotions do look a little bit different, but this is their deep conditioning shea and cocoa butter blend. So of course, deep conditioning I have to try it especially as we are getting into the colder months this one is kind of typical jergen scent it's not like a cocoa butter scent by any means but it just kind of smells like lotion it doesn't really have like a major scent to it I wish it did have more of like a chocolate scent or an almond scent but yeah it smells like jergens but it is super moisturizing so it does make a really nice base lotion I really like the texture of this one as well so I wanted to make sure I picked this up too and then the last thing I got was these cute little soaps I really wanted to try by nudie Rudy. they just looked so good so I haven't tried these yet but I got the honey bunny soap with Manuka honey, 
in shea butter. It doesn't smell as strong as I thought it would be, but maybe in the shower it'll come out a bit more, but it kind of smells like a normal soap. I can see a hint, I can smell a hint of honey in there. I like that it has the Nudie Rudy name embossed on it. But yeah, I was expecting it to be a little bit more powerful, but it's, I can definitely smell a little bit of honey. And then I picked up the Killa Vanilla. This one I can smell a little bit more, but these are definitely on the lighter side. Hmm. Okay, interesting. So I thought they would be a lot more powerful, kind of like how Lush soaps are. They're just like really strong, but I'm still excited to try these in the shower. I do like to kind of cleanse with soap first and then go in with my shower gel. So I'll be trying those too. I was going to pick up one of the Bliss lotions, but I think they're sending me a PR package with them anyway, so I don't want to like overbuy anyway. So I'm really excited to try the almond one from them, but that is going to be it for my Walmart haul. Let me know if you guys are going to head there to check out any of these amazing hygiene finds. I'm so excited about all the new stuff, especially since all of it is at a pretty affordable price tag, but I will let you guys go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>